Welcome back everyone, it's Stray Faye here with another episode of Golden Sun The Lost Age. In the last episode, we made it to the city of Alhafra. Uh, we explored a bunch, uh, talked to lots of people, learned about learned more about Briggs. Um the pirate who has been inhabiting this uh, broken down ship and trying desperately to clean it up. We fought Briggs, which is a really hard fight, and just narrowly won. I think just because of RNG, honestly. <laughs> we just got a lucky, a lucky uh, turn of events that his teammates didn't throw a bunch of uh, oil at us for a round. All right. You do plan to help with the mast, right? Not even- not even Briggs and his pirates could fix that mast. How are we supposed to? I don't know, magic? They need our help! We at least have to try! Isn't that right, Felix? Okay. Well then, we'd better get right to it, hadn't we? All right. Well, we were literally gonna help him with the power of magic. So they <laughs> they talked about like a bunch of debris. It was like this log, the box over there, uh, a pillar that's like obviously poundable. We can help with like most of this stuff, save for one thing. We we're missing a synergy to to do one thing. Let's move this rock. We can push it into the water. There it goes. Sank. Now you can push the log off. It makes a nice little platform there. Uh, but it doesn't go anywhere, so we have to do something about the other rock on the mast. There we go. Splish. Now we can move this box, and that makes some nice little platforms to the other side. Alright, oops. I like how- I like how I, I, I'm just fine walking on this log, but like not this metal bit. That metal bit is like can't- nope, can't step over it, no sir. Too dangerous. But the round barrel is completely fine. Uh, actually, how do I do this? Brain. Let's go over here first. <laughs> pound this, right? Yeah. And that untangles the rope. We can also jump over here. And, ooh, okay. <laughs> that looks like it's just another shortcut. Actually, I, I see, I see. Vision, what I'm supposed to do now. So I can move this here. Well, I don't think I don't think this is gonna help me right now, but it'll help in the future. Go all the way to. This side. Lash this. <laughs> I have to do a complete loop de loop around this place just to get just to move that box. <laughs> just to move the box into the water. <laughs> This way. And now that creates another platform, and we can look at this rock, but can't really do anything about it. So yeah, we're we're missing we're missing a synergy. Try as you might, you can do. You can try Trevor. You can try whatever. It will not. It will not break. So we have to. We have to find something else that will that will deal with it. I don't know what we're gonna do about this rock. I think we've done all we can do here. Let's get going. Well, good thing you told me, Jenna. I, I bet a lot of people 
would like struggle with that. Like, it's, it's a rock. I, I pound it, right? Or like, tremor? No, nothing's working. I mean, I can't, you can't do anything about it yet. Okay. So. Are you finished here, Felix? Yes. Wait. Wait, you wanted to do this and now you're telling me we should just give up? I just don't see how much more help we can be here, Sheba. How about they, like, freaking break the rock? We already cleared, like, a most of it. Oh, maybe we should start searching for another ship, then. Not that I was planning on borrowing the Madrin's ship. Kraden, did you really- Was that, like- Like, oh, Felix, help clean up this mess. Freaking thinking in, your, in the back of your head that we were gonna steal it. Although, I did plan on asking them if we could use it once we got back to Madra. But it doesn't look like the ship will be leaving anytime soon. I think maybe we should just forget about that and start on our way again, Felix. Okay. Yeah, we can't do anything more about it. Alright, let's see how everything else is. We probably talked to the mayor of this town before leaving. Um... Also, this puddle dried up during our fight with Briggs. Check the jar, we can get a lucky medal. Yeah, there's a lot of people hanging around here. What's going on, guys? I can help build houses too, at least for a little while, right? Helping people out feels really good. I <laughs> got more dialogue. I was afraid my house would never get repaired, but everything's fine now. Everyone working together, maybe our new houses will be a little sturdier. You know, since we're re rebuilding the house, maybe I'll ask for my own room. Gonna renovate. Once they fix the old folks home, I'll, it'll be our turn to get some repairs done. We're all, we're all doing our part to get things fixed, even if it's just a little cleaning up. We don't get out of, <laughs> if we don't get out of this inn soon, I'll die of starvation. The sooner Dad gets the house fixed, the sooner I can get a good meal. I mean, you gotta start growing stuff too. <laughs> Housing and food are like two separate things. I guess maybe I'll have access to a kitchen as well. I never thought a fine house could be crushed in the blink of an eye by plain old water. Guess that's what makes the tidal waves a true natural disaster. You know, sitting here fixing houses really makes you think about how unsafe the sea is. <laughs> Just you're like, hmm, maybe we shouldn't live so close to the ocean. Uh, the power of nature and the, the, the frailty of man. <laughs> against its might. Okay. What does a sailor like me know about building houses anyway? I don't know. <laughs> hey, you there, sailor boy, get back to work. Hey, give me a break. I'm on it. Working on deck with the cool ocean breeze on your face feels great. Working on land doesn't. And they need the muscle. They told me they helped me. They'd help get that mast fixed up. Someone please explain to me why suddenly they all decided to fix houses instead. <laughs> like it's what they can do. It's strange, the quarters down in the belly of that ship feel pretty cramped. Seems like there should be a lot more space down there somewhere. Is that a hint? Why look at this! <laughs> wow honey, you found some gold coins! Way to go, Mom! So, how much did you find? Oh, well, it's not too much. It's only five coins. That wasn't there before. That's great, though. We can use it to buy some food. We're gonna start looking, too. Kinda late in the game to, like, show off this feature, but yeah, I guess maybe this was to explain, like, hey, yo, if you look in jars and junk, you can find treasure. Oh, now the kids are all looking. All my neighbors are gonna work together to help rebuild my house. Friend in need really is a friend indeed. Losing the lottery and being the last house to get fixed takes some pretty bad luck. At least no one is complaining about how bad our luck is, except me. What a stroke of luck. Right when we really needed it too. There might be more, so let's keep looking. Let's loot the houses. Thought the hard part of cleaning up would be fixing the house. That's a piece of cake, next to having to pick up all these pots and jars. 
My dad lost a draw, so our house is going to be the last one to get fixed. All because of my dad's stupid luck, our house is the very last one fixed. Maybe you can make <laughs> make up for it by finding some cash. Wonder if there's any more money hidden hidden around here. Oh, I'll help with the cleanup too. I really shouldn't be peeking into other people's pots, should I? <laughs> <laughs> all, all RPG protagonists. Once repairs are done here, we have to fix the bridge in the northwest of Osenia. Can you do that now? Because Briggs destroyed it. If you're gonna go that way, I'd wait till the bridge is fixed. We have to go the long way. I wonder if the crew from Madra went back to the Yampi Desert. They weren't in such a rush, they could just wait for the bridge to be fixed. Alright, crying boy. I'm so hungry, I can't even move! I wish someone would just bring me some food. Well, talking to him did bring up the menu automatically, so there is something we can give him. Something that we just found. We found this large piece of bread um, inside the, the ship. So let's give it to him. He likes to use his large bread. Thanks, mister. The kid ate the bread. Oh, wow, I feel so much better. Look at how much energy I've got now. Jeez, mister. I don't know how I can repay you. Wait, I got it. Do you like... adventures? You sure do, kiddo. And you totally have to go check out the, out the caves under the mayor's mansion. Go find my dad. He's up along the path near there. The entrance is just past him. Feeling a lot better now thanks to you, mister. You get any more food? Could you bring it to me too? No. That's all I, that's all I need. It's just one. That, that piece of bread. Wonder if I should have shared some with my sister. Well, too late now. Put off fixing the boat for now so we can get up, work on repairing the town first. This is exactly the opposite of what the mayor of Alhafra said would happen. In fact, that badger took our boat from us. Can't be sitting well with the mayor. Right? why he's put off fixing their mast. Oh, there's a scummy reason for it. Not that he just wants to fix the houses first. You think that would be, like, the priority, right? Like, help the people and then worry about, like, other stuff. I guess he's more worried about trade. That group from Madra was incredibly lucky. They didn't do a thing, but they get a great boat because someone else caught Briggs. Just, I mean, it was... It was from... It was purchased with money that was stolen from them. So, I mean, the right thing would, would be, like, to give everyone's property back. Like, the mayor gets to keep the ship, while the other mayor gets to keep their money. <laughs> but... This town's mayor doesn't want to give up the money, so instead he trades it for a broken boat. I don't, I don't know. Any yeah, boat for nothing seems like a pretty good deal to me, but they didn't get it for nothing. You ignore the fact that the boat isn't going anywhere, anywhere for a while. What? Briggs was the leader of a crew of pirates? Aw, oh, but he was so nice! <laughs> Briggs was very generous. You've got plenty of weapons. Wait a minute. wonder what he was gonna do with all those weapons. Did you sell him the oil? Did you give him all those oil drops? Okay, nothing new. I don't think there's anything really new until we, like, hit up another town. Wow, that broadsword sure is expensive. It's not any better than what we have. Uh, there's nothing I can sell, right? Except for the Themis Axe. Is that really my first lucky metal? <laughs> I feel like I should have more. These lucky metals, um... Yeah, it really is my first lucky metal. These will be useful in like, in a mini game. That will get us some, like, pretty good gear, so... Don't sell them. So the guys who bought the boat are the pirates who were terrorizing Madra? You know, pirates who pay for stuff instead of stealing must be pretty weird pirates. They had their reasons. Everyone was talking about how you can capture the pirates in the prison. Wow, taking care of that salty bunch is something else. Pirates have the coolest outfits. Someday I want to be a pirate so I can dress up all fancy like that. They're like wearing rags, right? Nothing like too fancy. I guess a lot of pirates. I don't know, they might be decked out in their in their stealings. I thought it was weird that someone would pay that much for a broken ship. They probably had some secret plan to steal from us. That's why they were so quiet. 
Those guys are just trying to win over our trust so they can take advantage of us. I guess. Pirates doing pirate things. I'm amazed those guys who bought the ship are pirates. But then again, they didn't much look like your average run of the mill merchants. Pirates here in El Hafra. That's a scary thought. I'm so glad they were caught. Oh, you guys are still together. We all started working together to repair the house. Oh, not much longer and then I can kick these folks out of my house. Ah, it's so relieving to see my my wife smile again. I don't think there'll be any more arguments with our elderly guests. Once my old neighbor's house is repaired, my life can finally get back to normal. Won't be long till our guests go back home. It's a lot of work to help a friend in need, but it does feel good to be nice. But you weren't nice, you were snippy the whole time. Once everyone started working to rebuild the town, our hostess started being much nicer. I guess because, like, the end was in sight. The lady of this house is so temperamental. She gets angry at the smallest things. It was just a little tomato juice. How was I supposed to know that was her wedding gown? Oh. <laughs> why do you have your wedding gown just sitting out? I wonder what happened that's making the lady of the house smile so much. The lady of the house is so adorable when she's in a good mood. It'd be nice if she was always in a good mood. Yelling at us, the bitch. <laughs> Once things are back to normal, we're all gonna build another sailboat. If we all work together, we'll have it done in no time. Wow, this like town is like a <laughs> breath of fresh air now that I can just beat up Briggs. Everyone in town is so much happier now that we've started rebuilding the town. I hope things stay this nice once all the work is done. We're all taking turns helping out with the repairs in town. The lady hasn't ever had to work this hard before. I hope she's gonna be alright. I may not look very strong, but I know I can help out. I want to lend a hand. Mom said we're gonna have a bigger house than before. I hope I get my own room. Oh, if we get a bigger house, we can all get we can get all kinds of pets, like these gin. These things are pretty cute. Crazy, like never really saw any merch of them when I was growing up. Everyone's working so hard to restore this town to its previous splendor. Been working all day and night. <laughs> and beat. Well, all day, rather, not night. We heard a loud popping sound when we tried to hoist the mast. Thought we'd broken the mast, but it turns out it was just my spine. <laughs> okay. These little, like, quips make me laugh. Soon as I'm done fixing up the inn, I'm gonna give a hand in town. Why'd I have to work so hard? I'm tired. I'm in terrible shape for my age. He just wants to run the inn in peace. Nice meal is chock full of ingredients to destroy stre restore strength and vitality. Manual labor requires a lot of energy, so you have to rejuvenate with a good meal. I was told to use only the cheapest ingredients, but I actually bought only the best. I don't think I'll be telling the master at the end about this. Still making lobster? Yeah, you're still making lobster, dude. <laughs> There's still plenty of work to do once all the construction is finished. It's gonna be a long time before these houses feel livable again. Wonder what our new houses will look like. Can't wait to see them. Where's this lady? Looks like uh, probably a lot more people are outside. Oh, a couple's in here. My son has terrible luck. I think I passed my bad luck genes on to him. At the very least, I hope my grandchildren end up with better luck than we had. He's the guy who draw, drew lots and his house is being fixed last. I guess I just don't have any faith in myself. I should go with my instinct, but I always change my mind at the last second. The, night, the guy next to us is awfully handsome. He's just my type. Our neighbor is so mellow. He never stresses out. Maybe that's why he's so lucky. Is Alex still here? Is the old lady trying to mack on you still? So I hear you caught Briggs. I did. I could have used your help, sir. Mia, a young girl from my clan, was very kind, much like you are. Perhaps you should consider lending a hand to the mayor of Madra. He could use it. What if I said no? <laughs> you have no need to hide such fine exploits from me. Working hard for the benefit of others is quite noble. That's what Mia always said. How about you be like Mia and help? 
Feel free to help whomever you like, if it truly makes you happy. Perhaps capturing Briggs marks the beginning of your dreams coming to fruition. Okay. Alright, Alex. I see how it is. <laughs> At least he let me read his mind this time. He's like, fine. Yeah, I'll just uh, recover my synergy. I've been using mind read quite a lot. Have a nice trip! Move. Oh god. <laughs> Get out of the way! We're all gonna work together to build a home. Leh. Okay. I okay, already talked to you. So nice of everyone to chip in and help rebuild Alhafra. How about you, Mr. Man? Are you still. Capturing the dreaded Briggs is a great deed! Allow me to thank you on behalf of the, my townsfolk. I think this man might even be able to defeat the horrible werewolves. <laughs> You're still on about that, huh? How about you go over to Garo and see how they really are like? The Madrins dropped in and stocked up on items. Guess they're traveling by way of Yampy or they wouldn't have needed so many supplies. I don't guess they left. The Madrins must have been in quite a hurry. They knew we were going to fix the bridge pretty soon. They gotta, they gotta get peers out of jail. <laughs> the mayor is the only one from Madro who stayed in town. It says something about freeing an innocent man. I can't believe they left their mayor behind. Those Madrins are so cold-hearted, but it was their choice. That was for a good deed. Oh, hey! You came here to see Briggs? Choucha, it's good to see you. And you too, Willio. <laughs> goo, 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 ga. You barely talk. How is your cell? Is there anything I could do to make this easier on you? I'm fine, Choucha. My only complaint is complaint is that the food is t here is terrible. What? Are they forcing you to eat this disgusting gruel? At least they're feeding them. <laughs> now wait a second. First of all, it's not it's not disgusting, it's nutritious. And besides. You're in jail! What did you expect? Gourmet cuisine? Oh, oh. The kid's a wizard. Elio! Oh, he's like, no. Elio! Ooh. He's crying. You're his mother. Can't you do something? There, there, Elio. What's the matter? Wah! Ah! Wah! I can't, I can't talk. Did the mean old guard frighten you? Why are you blaming, blaming the guard? Wah, wah. Don't let him bother you. He's just a big bully. Come on, let's get you home. Wow, wow. We'll be back again later. Will that be all right? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. We'll come back soon, dear. Oh, they're going. Well, the kid can use synergy, so this is probably gonna come into play. I've been way too busy ever since Captain Briggs and his pirate crew. <laughs> So boring here when there's no one to guard. I'm, I'm glad I got some company. Oh, well, he's happy about it. I see like the kid was trying to grab this key, so. I hate prison. The food is terrible. My bed is hard and lumpy. It's even worse than being a pirate was. Not staying in the stupid soul forever. I'll get out of here one way or another. Sounds like the mayor of Valhalla lost interest in fixing that boat. 
Guess that means it'll be a while before the mask gets raised again. If they don't fix that boat, then it's not going anywhere. I bet all half his greedy Mary doesn't like seeing Madra profit from all of this. Oh, stopped by for a visit, did ya? I did. I wish that I'd met you under different circumstances. If we had met out on the open seas, you would have seen a different man. Felix has strange powers of his own. We can't let him see what Elio can do. If he does, he might ruin our only chance to escape. Oh no. Everything would have been fine if it hadn't been for you meddling kids. All you meddling kids and your old man. What's that punk Felix doing again? I wish that troublemaker would just scram. him. Oh, you staring at Elio. But you couldn't have figured it out. Uh, no, of course not. Nobody could see that. Here, some people can see Ilya's power. I want to see for myself. How does he do it? Magic hands. All right. I feel like I could probably talk to the wife. Uh, the wife probably went back to the ship. <laughs> I don't know if I should go all the way back there. I do need to see the mayor. <laughs> oh, it's also sorry that I'm just like taking forever just talking to everyone. But it's nice to see. Everyone in high spirits. Goo goo gaga! Oop! Oh. Healy's only just recently started doing that. After a gem fell from the sky and hit him. He was overcome by a terrible fever and when he recovered, he had this power. Okay, well, it's kind of weird that she explained it, but... Uh, yeah, I think we saw cases in this in the previous game. Like... Mount Aleph erupted and like a bunch of synergy stones just kind of scattered across the land and I guess when people are exposed to them they they gain synergy and since uh well Felix and Jenna like lived next to that mountain so most of the townspeople lived in that town since they lived near a source of synergy they also can do magic <laughs> can I read your mind I'm gonna use my magic to free Papa Okay, your thoughts are in English, but your words aren't. Elio and I are going to visit Briggs every day. Elio gets the hang of it, then maybe Briggs can. Gonna let a baby break out his break out his dad out of jail. I like how the, the whole hand thing. She she could just swipe the keys herself as well. Like it's the same thing. They're on the table. Maybe, maybe because like no one suspects the baby. Mwahaha! The mayor of Madra apparently sees the boat from the pirates and plan to sail it back home. I think he's got quite a wait in store before that mask gets fixed, unless I do something about it. If our mayor thinks I'm going to work on a boat for him, he's got another thing coming. Madra's mayor can wait here forever for all I care. Alright, let's... Do you need to visit the mayor, but let's check out over here. The mayor says that no one goes through, and I mean to make sure no one goes through. You're the one who gave my son some food, aren't you? Did you want to see the cave? What happened to no one gets to go through? I'm only letting you pass because you did good by my son. I'm only letting you so he can explore a little. Make sure you don't lay a hand on any of the mayor's treasure. But just in case, I'm just gonna look this way and not see anything. I heard that... <laughs> I heard that the deeper you go into the cave, the more dangerous it gets, so be wary. Not that it matters, the door to the mayor's treasure room is locked, so they're not getting in. Let's see about that. Alright, so we got Alhafrin Cave. Like a little mini dungeon. <laughs> a little mini dungeon underneath the town. Uh... Da -da -da. can hop over here. Is there anything over here? There are monsters! A harpy. Harpy could use some levels, to be honest. Bam! Let's see what's down here, and if it gets too annoying, we can always, uh... Okay, that's like- this is just like a shortcut path. If it gets too annoying, we can, uh, always cast a void again. I have it set to L. It's fine if it's only one harpy, we can just whack it. 
You see all that treasure? Mmm. Okay, it's locked here, but luckily we have synergy and we can take an alternate path. Oh no, we're stealing the mayor's treasure! We got some coins, one, two, three coins. Got some Ixion mail, very nice. And we got another lucky medal. Alright, so that's all we can do here for now. Um, if we come here later in the story, uh, there will be more treasures to be had. I saw them in, like, the distance. But they're not accessible to us right at the moment. Ooh, resist wind and water. This will actually be good for the next dungeon that's up ahead. Uh, okay, only Felix can wear it, so we're gonna equip it on Felix. I guess I can sell the leather armor unless I... I don't know, maybe someone else could use it. We're still missing our flippin' fourth party member. <laughs> I guess I can actually just retreat. <laughs> okay, never mind. This doesn't function as a dungeon. Luckily, we're, we're only fighting one RP at a time. There's more treasure here, but we can't we can't reach it yet, so just keep that in mind. I'll probably forget. What are all these harpies doing under here? That infestation, you should be the townspeople should probably be worried. Alright. And finally. Oh Felix, go on in! The mayor's been looking forward to meeting you! Mayor is really impressed with these guys. He'll probably want them to stay in Alhafra. Hope he doesn't try to give Felix my job. I hate when he does that. I would hate to just stay next to that mayor. Ah, oh, Felix, welcome, welcome. Listen, sorry about all that not letting you in business before. Don't take it personally. If I know Briggs was a pirate, I would have fought him myself. I never get to have any fun. What happened to like poetry and baking cakes? There. Uh, I think there's one thing that you can grab in the mayor's house, and then after this, you're gonna get locked out, so just be aware of that. Although, the thing you can get in the mayor's house is not that great. What do you think of Alhafra? Have you taken a fancy to it? <laughs> then why don't you follow your feet to the south? There are plenty of delights for warriors such as you in the middle of Osenia. Oh, they always tell me to send adventure seekers to South Osenia. All you do is go to the desert and head south. Where's the adventure in that? Oh, the mayors are here. Darn that mayor! Thought he'd get that mess fixed up for us right away. Hard to think the mayor of Ahafra never planned on repairing that boat at all. I was a fool to believe he would help us. Leave the boat here and go home. The mayor of Ahafra keeps the boat and the money. There must be a way to fix that boat without relying on Ahafra's help. He's already been paid to fix the boat, but he says that it was only while it was Briggs. He probably expects us to pay for the repairs a second time, the greedy pig. The money Briggs used to pay for that boat was stolen from our people. I don't think it's wrong for us to expect the mayor of Ahafra to honor his promise. Be right, right. You go to the watchtower and gaze southward. On a clear day, you can see the most amazing view of Air's Rock from here. There are numerous tales about that rocky peak we call Air's Rock. Air's Rock looks so odd that many people think there must be something hiding in there. Uh, okay, this is like probably the watchtower. There we go, seven coins. That would that's this is what you can find at the Bears Mansion. Not that exciting, but it's here. And technically missable. I've been saying Indra was wasn't in the right place for some time now. Nobody would believe me until the mayor of Madra actually walked here. I sat and gazed at that continent every day. I don't know where the continent should and shouldn't be, I tell you. 
Look here! Can't you see Air's rock out there? Can I see it? Like, hey! Go over here! There's a giant plateau there! Explore it! Yeah. <laughs> From here, it just looks like a regular old rock, but from up close, it's something else. First thing you think when you see it is, now that's one serious rock. <laughs> the longer I sit here gazing at Air's rock, the more I grow to love it. All it takes is one glance and you're convinced it holds some mystery deep within. I don't want to look at it again, no sir. Okay, I guess today's a bit cloudier than usual. Air's rock is, has another name. They call it the Windy Peak. You almost never see clouds near it. What are you cooking? He looks like in the oven. That seafood stew has an abundant variety of fish. One bite of that and I'd be hooked. The mountains to the east of al are on the Baloo Range. They divide Oceania in two. We call the area on the other side the Baloo Range East Oceania. There's no way to cross the Baloo Range from here. I've heard Western Oceania is nothing compared to the frightful things found in the east. Our town was rife with pirates until just recently. Your efforts had removed a scourge from our town. We truly owe you our gratitude. These pirates never did us any harm, but that's because they were up to something. Um, let's see, is there anything in here? Bear. Let me talk to everyone else. We're talking to the bear. <laughs> and the pirates talking about the warriors who beat them. They sounded tough. If the warriors are defeated, the pirates aren't from Garo, the cursed village. Excuse me, child. Are you the brave hero who defeated the pirates? I am, miss. Well, I wonder if you, even a hero like you can stand up against a creature. With the brains of a man and the strength and cunning of a beast. Don't think any such creature exists and head south and see for yourself. I wish someone would go do something about that cursed village south of, south of us. It's evil. Jeez, guys want me to go on a crusade against them. I heard they were nice people, though. According to Mikasala. Sure, the mayor has reasons for halting repairs on the sailboat. The mayor feels that Madra should only get back what was stolen from them. Nothing more. But now it seems the Madrans are getting the better end of the deal. The mayor thinks it's unfair that Madra should benefit while Alhafra suffers. That's why he's keeping the pirate's money and using it to, re to repair Alhafra, not the boat. But it's not their money! <laughs> If Madra wants their boat fixed, they can just pay us to have it fixed. <laughs> the mayor hates seeing anyone else make money, so I'm sure he'll make this tough on Madra. <laughs> the mayor doesn't play fair. Okay, there's nothing in the jars, but I kind of feel like checking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't mind read them. <laughs> Briggs tells me that there is a huge town on the continent that lies across the eastern sea. He tells me that by trading with one another, all these towns prosper and grow. I made a decision. If I'll have rest and prosper, then we must trade too. Trade and grow. The only thing about this now. I'm going to build an entire fleet and make lots of money. Still, there must be other pirates and freebooters still roaming on the high seas. Felix Briggs told me that you your friends, you and your friends fought with great strength. If you could lend me that strength, we wouldn't we would not fear any pirates. So if you could just be willing to help us out, our town could begin trading and prospering. Are you gonna pay me for that? What do you say? Do we have a deal? <laughs> I'm gonna say no. Bad chance, I have other things to do. Ah, such a pity that you don't see the potential of this partnership. You just want me to help. You're not giving me anything in return. I certainly hope you'll you'll reconsider. We stand to make a lot of money. It's such a fantastic idea, and I'm the one who thought of it. So naturally, it need <laughs> need only be me who alone who profits from it. What it wasn't even your idea. You're, you're literally mayor of like a sea, like a coastal town, and you had to like have Briggs tell you that you could you could trade across the ocean. 
I'm planning a glorious new sailing ship so that we can begin trading immediately. Certain that this will go well and we will both become very, very wealthy indeed. Yes, okay. Well, let's get out of here. <laughs> stupid Mary being stupid. Okay. Whew. Well, wow, I use a lot of synergy. I don't know if I need to... Recover again? Probably be fine, but might as well top us off. Alright. Why not? We made some money off the harpies. Now it's still a lot of talking. <laughs> All right, let's let's blow this popsicle stand. We're ready to go. All right, so we have two choices. Um, we can either trek all the way back to Madra, uh, see what Piers is doing, since they did send out an advance party to like set him out. However, if we do that, um, we won't be able to get Piers right away. We're gonna have to like do a whole detour and like go like all the way up here. In order to do anything about that. <laughs> or we can travel down this way, go to Garo and Erish Rock, which there's something we could do here. However, if you might like going the long way, going back to Madra, going through here and getting peers, because um Erish Rock is a very long dungeon, so getting your fourth party member might be good. But otherwise, in terms of difficulty, we should be able to do it with, with three members. And I don't think we get anything special for having uh, Piers with us, other than him standing awkwardly during the cutscenes. <laughs> I, I, I don't think he even like, has any dialogue. Alright, so let's go back to the empty desert. And we did see there was a shortcut over here to get to Air's Rock and Garo. Warning, beyond this point, there's no route back, so, yeah. No turning back, guys! This looks suspicious. <laughs> this looks very suspicious. Circle of rocks. Alright, spits us out over here. And, okay. Like, we have to go the long way around. Uh, we'll worry about the desert later. Let's see if we can find a town. Voids effect more on. I, I should be able to make it. Make it the town. There we go, Garo. Let's get up. Just a little spooky music. And we got some murals. Wonder what this could mean. Got some the moon and the wolves. Hmm. Okay. And darker. Go. Was that? Ow! The little furry. Ow! Ah! Ah! Ow! Eek! Oh! He got scared. I don't believe it. That was a... A what? Kraden, do you know what that thing was? Well, perhaps. So... So what are you waiting for? Tell us! I suspect it may have been... A lycanthrope. A lycan what? Just think of them as a race of people born with special powers. Kind of like adepts, you mean. 
Yes, that sounds right. Shiba, you've put it quite well. Adepts borrow their abilities from the power of the elements. While lycanthropes borrow their from the power of beasts. That is why they've taken the forms of animals. They may look frightening, but we must try to communicate with them. Lycanthropes, werewolves, a whole village in hiding. Is it just me? Or does Kratos seem a little too happy to have found werewolves? A little. <laughs> what? Me? Happy to find werewolves? You must be joking. I guess I'm just curious about all the secrets of these new lands. Any real scholar would be thrilled to explore a new land full of mysteries, huh? So, are there werewolves only on Osenia? Um... If so, how could you even known about them, Creighton? Uh, I know, suspicious. Uh, I, uh... Yeah, that is weird. <laughs> Alright, so I lied. I'm glad you found werewolves. There, are you happy? And you know what? I even want to get a closer look if I can. So let's go, let's find us some werewolves. Okay. See what the old man says. Nice little view of the, the moon and the, the treasure chest, which I'm not sure if I'll be able to get that yet, but it's taunting us right now. Oh, let's see. People. So, uh, you say you saw a werewolf? It did. Don't be ridiculous, there's no such thing as werewolves. <laughs> uh, are you sure about that? It's Grimlock that brings strangers here in the gloom of the full moon. Of course not, you should know there's no such thing. Not here. Everyone has their cloaks up. I guess that's fair. Especially because they're, they're probably like very much persecuted. He looks like in the oven. There are lots of strange looking plants boiling, boiling in that large pot. Got a familiar smell, I just can't quite put my finger on. You guys look normal. Unfortunate that you should come on a night of the full moon, sir. Come during the day to see our full range of wares. Do you not have anything for sale? These strangers seem normal enough. Except that they're up late for outsiders. Sorry, but on nights of the full moon, we only sell claws and fangs. You probably wouldn't have any use for those, would you? What would- wait. <laughs> what, what would a werewolf need claws and fangs for, though? They already have them. <laughs> Are they gonna, like, augment their own? <laughs> Good evening, Wanderers! Are you looking for something? Kinda? Searching for werewolves? Not necessarily, no. Heh. <laughs> Sorry, just thought I'd ask. Get some crazy folks coming through here and I had to ask. Outsiders could never understand the gift the moon has given us. No fair, my brother always gets to go out late. I made Master Maha take my brother to, into the rock. I want to see what's in there. Our oldest son is always scampering off late at night. Where is he? That pup of mine. He just won't listen. He went out when he shouldn't have. He just wanted to see the moonlight. And now his father blames me for it. <laughs> Ew, they're frying up bug larva. Looks awful, but it smells great. <laughs> some, some people eat bugs. Oops, can I like look down? I'm gonna look at this box. Probably has nothing in it. <laughs> eh. There's also these like stairs down. I think I think all the huts are connected, so I'm just gonna like talk to everyone outside first. You there, strangers should not go about at night. Guests are welcome in Garo, but they do well to stay in at night. Foreigners only come here en route to Air's Rock. Only a chosen few can reach the peak. Good evening. Forgive me for not taking my hood off. I just don't care much for the full moon's light. That gorgeous moonlight. If I could only take off this hood. Oh, I found a smoke bomb. Check that off.
Earth rock can get quite desolate. After all, it's in the middle of a desert. Most people see nothing of true of the bleh, see nothing of the true Ayers Rock. Our current guests only saw the wind and dust. We got some more gladiators here. <laughs> Clear night around here always means fair weather on the morrow. Come all this way, so you might as well go to Ayers Rock too. It only rains a few times a year there. Ayers Rock is in a desert, so what else would you expect? Lamb on the bone broiled over an open flame. The lamb is golden brown and juicy. Probably notice if I took some. Too bad. No. I think there's something. I think there's something in this in this jar, but can't really talk talk to it. Uh, what's that? Whirlwind. Windstone. Is that a hint? That rock is huge. How am I supposed to make it spin? Ugh. Ugh. What a waste. Just a big rock. You know I can mind read you. I'm all over that stupid rock and for what? Nothing! There we go. That was weird. I couldn't- I couldn't- I couldn't talk to the jug. <laughs> the jug. Alright, find an elixir in the end. Just take it from the sleeping get gladiators. You already. You there! Okay. Don't you love the sight of the full moon? Yes, I agree. But it brings me grief. Year cannot enjoy the sight of it directly. The night of the full moon is usually so festive. It's boring having to wear these hoods when strangers come. You destroyed the revelry. Go! Oh! Go! Oops! Uh, er, er, I was just calling my dog. Sounded good, huh? One of us was it who removed his hood in front of these strangers. Hello, priest. People here may be different, but they certainly are nice. Those abilities of theirs are amazing. Well, at least you're a nice priest, unlike the one in Madra. Or not Madra, uh, Alhafra. No matter what it takes, I'll save the souls of those poor villagers. Okay, wait. Do they really need to be saved? They seem happy enough. Alright, where do I want to go? I think all the huts are connected. They yeah, got a whole little underground system here. A shop here. Anything in here? Did you come here from Alhafra? I did. Really, you must have gone to the cave. Can't go back that way, you know. The, re the return trip is longer. Never changed my sock, unlike the weapon and armor shop keeps. Well, good thing you can buy some healing items if you really so desire. Where to go now? Garo exists to protect Air's Rock. In exchange, we gain its power ourselves. We have other powers than just Whirlwind. Wonder which of us will inherit the powers of Master Maha. Cooking. Huh? What is that? Lobster grilled in the shell? I'd like to experience this luxurious culinary treat at least once in my life. Where'd you get a lobster? <laughs> You've heard of Whirlwind? Most people haven't. Even in Garo, only chosen few can use it. What, you mean... You mean this? Different people use Whirlwind in different ways. Master Maha, mas mastery of Whirlwind would put anyone to shame. I've read about the Windstone. Using Whirlwind on it makes something happen. <laughs> Thank you, child. <laughs> I wish I knew what would happen. Something weird, I guess. Puzzles. Okay, that spits us out over here. It's like a Scooby-Doo town. Where am I gonna pop out next? Uh. Oops. Oh, I found a nut. Mark that off. 
more people grow older, they generate strange powers. Of course, I'm just a wee pup in people years. Wait, what? <laughs> I cast whirlwind on the stone like I was supposed to. Why didn't I gain the power that Maha wields? Are you like different ages depending on what form you're in? <laughs> oh, I fell asleep off here. So that's the last treasure we can get here until we get another synergy, so we don't have to like worry about looking at all the pots and barrels anymore. My mate is close to obtaining the power he's been seeking. If he succeeds and carries on Master Baha's tradition, I'll be so proud. Newt skewered over an open flame. Are they making food or some kind of strange medicine? Mmm, <laughs> yummy newts. Can't say I have ever tried that. I've tried alligator before. Taste. I don't know. <laughs> Not really swampy, but I mean it was jerky. It was it was seasoned, so. All right. Obviously, this little area here. There is a way to cross it, but we don't we don't have the ability to do so yet. But just keep that in mind. And then get the heck out of here. I want to like finish exploring this place and then head to Air's Rock. <laughs> and hopefully that'll be like a good place to end. Meh. I saw the silhouette of a man in the well. Isn't this? That's kind of creepy. Isn't that just your own reflection, though? <laughs> what the? What? Outsiders here? <laughs> Hello? Knock knock? Well, you did something weird. Probably recognize that power we played Golden Sun One, though. We don't we don't have it yet, so I think we're done here. Let's get out of here. Nothing we can buy. If we wanted to sleep, use the end feature. But if you sleep at the end, it won't turn back into day. It'll it'll, it'll keep being night. However, we we will get to see this place during the day. Uh, once we progress a little bit. Exit this place in reverse. Do, 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 do. Okay. Whew, that was uh that was a lot of talking we did today. <laughs> Let's go to our next destination. Over here. And get into a fight. Cutting edge. Ooh. Got some water synergy when I leveled up. All right. Well, yeah, I think we're done here or done at Garo. So in the next episode, uh, gotta gotta mentally prepare. <laughs> Mentally prepare for Air's Rock. Uh, it is the most... Uh, probably the longest dungeon in the game. For some reason, they made this one really long. I guess they were proud of themselves. It's also the glitchiest dungeon in the game. But I don't think we'll, we'll uh, fall into any glitches. Like on accident. But yeah, just kind of mentally prepare. It is a very long dungeon, which is why some people suggest maybe, like, coming back here later, picking up your fourth party member, and, like, coming back, <laughs> even though it's a very long walk. Alright, let's... let us save. Uh, over this file? Yeah. Okie doke! Well, I hope you guys had a fun time, and I'll see you in the next episode! Uh, bye bye!